All right, guys, here we go into another computer art tutorial using Pixlr online free web eh, photo editor. Uh, what we're going to do today is what's called creating a double exposure photo. So two photos basically just combine together one layered over another uh, using a simple layer style. So we want to choose two images, uh, an image of a person and then an image of a place. Basically, it could be a person and the place they're from if they're on a sports team, the sports Sports town they play, um, any any combination of those two things um, will do. So uh, to get started, going to toggle back to home here. Go ahead and create new. Uh, we'll say full HD for our option here, and what we'll call this one is double expose. So double exposure is like I was saying, it's when you have two photos layered over one another. So uh, really simple, quick project we're going to get into today. Um, but should have hopefully some cool results. So I'm going to copy an image, um, control click or alt click or right click if you happen to have a mouse, copy that image, command V to paste it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, enlarge it to fill. One thing I am enjoying not having to do is hold shift when I enlarge a photo, something you have to do every time you enlarge a photo in Photoshop. All right, size is good. I need to get rid of this background. So you can attempt to use the wand if you have a very simple background. I do not. So I'm going to utilize my uh, polygonal lasso or magnetic lasso. Let's give this magnetic lasso a try. I'm not always a big fan of the one in Photoshop, but who knows, maybe Pixlr will surprise me. So I'm going to click uh, down and then move my mouse so I clicked down and I'm just moving my trackpad as I'm using my Mac, but using a trackpad and just moving along the edge here. And it seems like it's doing a pretty good job. I'm just going along this edge. Obviously out there is going to have some funny stuff because that's outside the edges of my photo. Um, but it seems like it's staying pretty well to the edges. So, hmm. Pixlr. Got the quality magnet lasso action going on here. Oops, little, uh, oh no, actually it did pretty good. All right, cool. And then I'm just gonna go all the way around down the bottom side here. That part gets a little crazy and then click again. Nice, so I got a selection. And you can also notice too, you do have add to selection and remove from selection options here. So let's say I wanted to add a little bit, like I can see this barely a little piece of his uh, shoulder here that got missed. I could click on my free lasso, click add to selection, and I could click drag and kind of like add that little bit. And see, I added that little bit to the selection. Awesome. Nice, so yeah, this whole outline looks pretty good. It's all good and fine. So what we wanna do is select the inverse. Okay, so we do it a little bit differently in here. We go to the edit menu and then go to invert selection. And then that gives me a selection of all this outer junk out here. And then I'm just going to hit delete. But I didn't have my image layer selected, so now I hit delete after I selected my image layer. Uh, again, Command D or Control D will deselect. All right. And so now I'm ready to bring in my second image. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I've already got my skyline San Francisco image picked. So I'm going to right click or if you are on your Chromebook, you are gonna alt click, and then I'm just gonna go command V, hit this in here, expand it to fill my canvas space here, and we are really close to getting finished. So one thing I'm gonna do is just click on these three dots here, go to the blend mode here, and scroll through and see if I can find one that works well. Uh, screen, I think, might be one that works well, or overlay, I think, was the one I ultimately went with. Yeah, overlay seems to work well here. Um, you know, I can play with the cropping. I can play with the position of the image. I think what I had done in my finished example was I cropped a little bit. So I kind of moved in my edges. So using the crop tool right here, looks just like it does in Photoshop. I'm gonna move the sides in and kind of make this into more of a, like a square image. I kind of wanted to have 
you know, the face in between like the two ends of the Golden Gate, I thought was kind of like a good composition choice. So maybe expand that just a little bit. And then if I go to my arrow tool or any other tool, it'll crop that image a little bit. I can still move this if I want, you know, trying to get the right placement here. Maybe even just make it bigger. Yeah, because I kind of want I really like how like the clouds are right over his eyes there. There, I think that's pretty good. I kind of like how like his eyes not covered in a cloud there. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, really quick, really short uh, assignment lesson for the day, a double exposure photo. Awesome. Hope you guys have luck and have fun making a quick little uh, project, double exposure photo.